Well, I think this year, three things that we've highlighted are first, um, rising international tensions. I think that's the most urgent risk facing the world in 2019. The biggest long-term risk we identify as climate change and a, a range of related environmental issues. And finally, technology we point to as a blind spot. Even though we're paying a lot more attention to technological risks, the pace of change is such that really we need to be doing more to keep up. Well, I think with most of these risks, we can see some uh, scope for opportunity. I think it, the environment is probably one that we would point to. There's real possibilities there for major technological advances, which could both make uh, important progress on the environment and also help develop um, economies around the world. We tend to focus at a, a, a global level in the Global Risks Report. I think depending on which risk you're looking at, different regions will be experiencing those risks in different ways. I think it's not so much a matter of one region being more risky than the other, it's that each of these risks needs to be addressed um, in the context of local regional circumstances. Well, I think if we look at the Middle East, I think we can see all of the, the risks that we're highlighting in the Global Risks Report as potential factors, whether that's from the um, rising international tensions and the geopolitical shifts that we're, we're seeing, um, power shifting from one part of the world to another part of the world, geoeconomic uh, changes, demographic factors and climate change and the migration patterns that they're going to lead to. There are many of these risks are going to play out um, quite significantly in the Middle East in the years ahead. Actually, I think one of the most interesting things is what isn't changing. We've seen, if we look at over a 10 year um, kind of horizon, we see a big shift from economic risks to environmental risks. Over the last two to three years, that focus on environmental risks, when we ask um, our respondents in the survey, what's the biggest risk in the, for the next 10 years? It's been amazing over the last three years to see just how consistent uh, the environmental risks are.